Welcome to our farm, a little bit of our everyday in a not so everyday life. Fancy new engine for the auger and enough chain. That's how much chain I need. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, g'day everyone. Just uh, put the new motor on, giving her a whirl. With the help of Charlie. Let's go down. Up. Versus. Forward. That's good. But uh, should last another 20 odd years. That poor old motor there died. But anyway, she's another job down ready for harvest. So the header's right, the auger's right, the truck should be right by the end of the week. Um, what else we got to do? Oh, I'll get the front out, grease and oil it, check it. Right, start Monday, hopefully. So, yeah, anyway, that's, uh, yeah, good thing. Expensive, but good. So, it's turned that into a, a good auger. So, anyway, right up, bye. All right, what do we got going on here? That engine died. Shock horror. It's got a shock. Must um, be harvest time. Yes. So I had to put the new engine on and I went to empty out whatever's left in there and the engine didn't start, it died. So now we're about to... Alright, so Phil's going to climb in there, aren't you? running so my job will be to turn that motor off if um, I see or hear anything. It's never safe these jobs. So basically there's still some grain pellets sort of left in here that he's going to scrape away so that it's ready for fresh stuff next week when we get the harvest harvest them. See what was in there? No. What was, oh, I saw you throw something out. Oh, it just, yep, that's disgusting. I'm just going to film you getting out because it's hilarious. It might prove funny. Actually, you're doing that better than, yep. Well done. Ta -ta. <laughs> done well. I didn't fill up the feeder. I'll just show, show what it looks like inside. So that's the inside of a um, field bin. 
that hole down there is where obviously the grain goes and the auger sits. That's the end of the auger that we turn on and off. So we're still here prepping for harvest this week. Uh, lots to do. It's kind of hit a bit of a, would you say a snag? Not a snag, more a, more just waiting. We're waiting, waiting because we, we, our truck isn't here. Our truck has a steering. Yeah, it's, uh, ready, buddy. It'll, yeah they've said by the end of the week, so, which we can go and get that. So we probably could start on the weekend and what was wrong with the truck it was a steering column the box, steering, box. steering box so phil drove it away from here it was fine pulled up at the mechanics and it was leaking oil and they had a look at it and it was a steering box so they had to get one in but anyway it's all registered ready to go and um yeah that's the last thing we're really waiting on isn't it and we've got to do a couple of tanks on the back of the trailer for, for fire, fire hazard. And that's about us sort of in, waiting in anticipation now for it to start. Uh, we'll go and fill up the, the babies. Okay. So we're going to fill up the potty lamb. <laughs> They're nearly out of fair bought stuff. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah? I think they approve. Little fatties, look at yours. I didn't even get to put your pellets through with it. <laughs> Well, I know where you'll be eating tomorrow. So that just happened on our way down to parking it. It's foul, isn't it? It smells like, yeah. It does smell like an off brewery. Nah. No? It's worse. Oh, it <laughs> just hits you. <laughs> You'd think they'd have a little door underneath oh, that you could pull out. Oh, is there? How come you don't do that? Oh, I don't want to touch it. Oh. <laughs> be changing before you come in. You can never get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's time to get the front out of that little space. Do you need the... Oh, you've got a stocky wheel.
This is why you never get rid of your land cruisers. Hey, Phil. Alright, we've got the jockey wheel up, which means the chain's up. Oh, is that why you've got the bump, the dent in you? <laughs> yeah, I do remember that now. <laughs> oh, look at that tight space. Yeah, typical. But what goes in has to come out. Oh, you got more space on this side. You didn't come in very even. You didn't go in very even. It's easy to judge from my side of the camera and the steering wheel. That's the next job for the day, isn't it? You're going to have to try and fix that patch. What do you want? Where am I? What am I doing now? Oh, nothing. We're just done. Uh, You're right to see? You're just going to... No, I can't see that side. It's there. No. Okay. I need a two-way. Do you... Don't stand behind it. No, I won't stand behind it. But how do you want me to tell you that you can't... Do you want me to follow you down the passenger side? Just walk with you? I might not film this. We'll see. Both wheels, you're through that post, Phil. There's no way of directing it to your right at all, is there? through that post. Pardon? I can't fit anymore. Yep, he's done it. Amazing. Well, she knew the buggy was on it, on the way somewhere. So this is leaking oil, something. Oh. Wow, oil. Well. You don't know. <gasps> oh. <laughs> 
Oh no! <laughs> it was full. It's got a magnet on the end of it. Oh, does it? And it's Do you want that rag? Mm. Right, well that's full. That's full. We're gonna pull this piece out. Watch out, Shins. So Shenzi and I, Shenzi is over there, are out just checking um, our, um, sorry, just checking our video cameras that we have set around the place. We've had to do that just because there's been some stealing, some farm theft in our area, and we're trying to be wise about it. So we have around the farm now um, cameras set up, but unfortunately because due to lack of internet and whatnot, we have to come and check them. They're not sent back to um, our internet, back to our phones or anything like you can get on some. Um, so yeah, we're just out and about. Takes Doesn't take me long. I've got a little device that I can um, bring my laptop out to to check. And um, this one, this camera I can see that I've got set up actually hasn't recorded anything past the 18th of um, October. So I might actually have to bring out some new batteries for it i might have to bring it home actually and pop it on the charger it has charge and has backup batteries but it doesn't look like it's recorded anything for um what's that a couple of weeks which is not ideal so that is what we're up to phil has been um welding a cover for um the side of the front the header front so i'll show you a little bit of that Obviously you can't talk while he's welding, but I've got a little bit of footage of that and we're so very close. We keep saying we're close, <laughs> but it keeps coming up little jobs. I just wanted to get this job done before we're concentrating on being in the header um, and in the truck. So, yeah. <laughs> curious these are the little cameras that we use they um you can get them with a solar panel on we've got the updated ones like i said you can charge them and they hold a charge with a lithium battery and then i've got a setup of a backup of double a batteries all the other cameras that i've set up have, are still taking photos and they were all put up at the same time so i'm not sure what's happened to this one like i said it hasn't been taken for uh, a couple of weeks um they take video and stills within um, certain time frames of each other and they're motion censored so they're picking up motions around you they don't obviously take photos when there's nothing happening which is really good the last lot of these we had were only in black and white these are in color um, i got them on amazon 
and um, they do the trick, I think, if you have to have something like this around the place. It's a shame we have to have things like this around the place, but unfortunately, that's the world we live in. Come back a bit. Come back, come back a bit. Um, probably to me a little bit. No, to me a bit. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yep, keep coming. Keep coming. To, cross to me a little. Keep coming. Keep yep, come back there. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh, did you get your finger, you duffer? You good though? Yeah. Good job. All right, so today we have picked up some hydraulic oil and that's been put in. And I think Phil's gonna take the front off and put it back on the trailer because we're gonna take it down the paddock, Charlie, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Ready to start. Go back. Go back. It's been predicted. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it's been predicted, unsurprisingly, for rain this afternoon. So we're gonna try and get a little bit in. All right, you go and sit in the buggy. Good boy. What are you putting on, Charlie? Gloves. Gloves. Are they for working? They're yeah, not this one. Sure. All right, head is off. Back on the trailer. Ready to take down to the paddock. So we'll drive it down. We've got the uh, new fire extinguisher. the noise yeah. um, that's just it bouncing on the trailer we're gonna follow pop down to the paddock aren't we You get some down. Good boy. Oh, thank you. Oh, crunchy. Did you want to try one? Does that say it's crunchy? Want a poppies? Have a bite. Is it crunchy? <laughs> Was it crunchy? No. No, I think it is. I think it's ready to go. That's how they make bread, Charlie. They get them seeds and they crush them all up into flour. How many loaves of bread do you think you're going to make out of this paddock today? Come on, we'll go and will this one make some bread? Away. You've got to eat the seeds. Poppy will help you get the seeds out. Bring it to the buggy. Bring it to the buggy. Come on, Jens. You got one? Those gloves are tricky. Oh! Ah! Oh. oh, okay. Okay, so there goes Em. We are at the sample stand, our local sample stand. Show your sample, Charlie. Little sample of grain. We've got a bucket and Em's taken up. She's just going to test it for um, moisture mainly so that we know we're right to go. Okay, sample was a bust because no one showed up to do the sample. Come out of the way, buddy. Stand back. So we're back home. We'll have to run it somewhere else and we're getting a field bin down the paddock. All right, we are in the paddock with one field bin. Got to get second field bin or auger? Auger, maybe? This is his cut a sample strip. So storm clouds are brewing, must be harvest. Help the 
stops if I turn the video on. Do you need me to help? Turn the video on. Phil. Lunch. Lunch. Okay, I am out on our front veranda. Phil's out in the paddock. Oh, can you hear that in the background? We've got a storm coming. We told you this at the beginning of the video, or was it last week's video? <laughs> oh, that the rain would come as soon as we started harvest. I don't know whether you can see or hear it properly. I can hear Phil in the header. Did you hear that? That thunder rumbling. He's just told us to get dogs and lambs sorted because it, he can see a storm coming in from the south. Yeah, so yes, harvest 2023 has started officially today. We never really know what day it's coming, but today we've decided we're just doing it. We've got the field bins down there, as you saw, the um, augers down there. We didn't get the fire um, ute done, but we will get there. But Phil knew this storm was approaching and he wanted to get it done. So he wanted to get in the paddock. So um, he's deferred that for now to get as much as he could in the bin this afternoon. It's not gonna be a lot, but he's made a start. Who knows? Oh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Drought break is home. Unbelievable. Well, we may as well call an end to the week's video. I got one box. You got a box in, yay. That's something. And uh, yeah, we'll enjoy we'll enjoy the much needed rain we've been hoping for. We warned you we, we would uh, bring the rain. <laughs> and here we are. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. See you at the end of harvest. <laughs>